five inches in weight by a half pound and age by three years. Slight reach advantage in favor of I.A. Bruce. Bruce in the gold trunks, red shoes, and his uh, beautiful burgundy Everlast trunks with silver trim is uh, Mikhail Zuski. Ah. This is scheduled for 10 rounds. Zuski's only been 10 rounds two times in his career, including his last fight. Fine athlete, being from Canada, he was a hockey player, karate, basketball, played football. Last fight, he seemed distracted. He had a child that was doing a couple of days, and he was a little bit distracted, uh, I think, against uh, Panamarev. He really was. You know, he just said that his mind wasn't at the fight. And you know how much Colonel, more than anybody at boxing, is just more even sometimes more than a physical right. sport a mental sport and when your mind's not all in you're not going to look your best and yeah. he didn't and, and that's uh, <laughs> against a the, tough opponent the, yeah against a very good opponent and the birth of a first child is a major event in your life and uh, Zuski looks like he's in it tonight he's starting fast here against uh, IE Bruce he's a rugged little guy he's short compact Reminds me of like Steve Forbes type of, of body on him. Yeah, real stocky. And just fought recently too. I think he just fought like four weeks ago yeah. or something, right? Bruce tries to get to the body and uh, Zuski's able to get to the head. Downstairs with the left hand is Zuski. Good looking kid. Good looking fighter. Mentioned he had 160 amateur wins, four time national champ. Waiting a little bit, both of them, especially Bruce, uh, allowing Zussi to get off first. Zussi needs to dip that left shoulder in just a little bit more so he can get that jab in the face because he's giving up, believe it or not, an inch in reach to the guy that's 5'8 and he's 5'10. It's hard to believe, but uh, that's the way I.E. Bruce is built. I.E. Bruce has his guard up so high, his um, waist, you know, that belt is up so high, it's not leaving much room for any you know, body work, and he's standing up tall. And right when he tucks that elbow, it's like there's no room right there for Zuski to work. Lennox Lewis used to get over yeah. with that. He had that thing up there almost underneath his uh, chest. chest. Yeah. Risky, soft jab, soft downstairs. Now he comes with, uh, tries to throw uh, his uppercut with a little bit more power on it. Still kind of a feeding out first round for both guys, but uh, Bruce hasn't done enough offensively to win this round. Solid left hook by Mikiel. Right. Shots by Ai. All right, the bell ends the first round. I got to lean towards Zuski on that. I thought he landed more blows. Bruce is one and four in his last five fights, and again, the one win that he had was back in his home country of Ghana. He fights out of that uh, Azuma Nelson Boxing Club in Accra. Azuma, of course, the professor, Hall of Famer, great fighter. Hi, Bruce decked out in the colors of the flag of Ghana. And Azuski in the burgundy and silver to the left of your screen. Some hand speed shown by Mikhail. Hard body shot to the right hand. Kind of using his jab now, Christina, positioning himself instead of trying to get a piece of him with that jab. I'd like to see him catch him with the jab and, and, and you know, really use that there. And we turn the hand over and the thumb on the outside, but at least he got him. Well, I think he's using it to try to get inside, which should be not too hard for him because his opponent's standing straight up. And right in front of him. No, not much side to side movement at all. Perfect for the out. And, 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 you know, Bruce is so short, even though he has a nice reach, uh, 
when he reaches in, his his palm is almost up, so there can't be any power. You've got to turn that hand over and get your knuckles into it to get power. Watch watch when he throws something on the inside when he reaches. Watch this now. Talking to you people at home, watch the way I Bruce will reach in and his palm kind of comes up. You see that he can't have power on his punches. And when Zuski realizes that, he's going to do this. Time he didn't lift the that palm up, but he does it on quite a few occasions. Zuski's got the hand speed over Bruce as well. That good body shot. There's the uppercut right hand. This is a good stuff now for Mikael, for you fans in Canada. He is tap tap with the jab, looking for position in the right hand, but. Uh, Bruce was able to cut it off that time. Right, right. Exchange upside. The the head gets uh, Zuski punch him with his right hand. And Bruce is not getting away with that with me. And he bangs him one, and then the ref uh, Tom Anderson says, "Hey, hey, that's great, that's great guys. At least you get the mindset. They are fighters." You might be right though, Christina, in that uh, you know Zuski. Not really concentrating on the body because that uh, protector is up so high that he can't get a real clean, hard shot unless you get behind it. Now, that time was a really good body shot. Right. It was taken right on the upper portion of the cup. <laughs> Zuski outboxed him in the second as well. And much more aggressive. This is round three. Zuski again with hard shots to the body. That time he caught him with the right hand. Spun the head and Bruce trying to answer a, a little bit himself down. Letting his hands go a little bit more here in round three. Zuski doubles again. Misses with the left but catches with a solid right. Is the body shot down there? And he actually found a place where the cup wasn't, which is kind of under the armpit, Christina. Well, and he should keep going there because that's going to be effective, and that's going to, you know, open up for him to to land up top. Which, you know, he has a longer reach. He's got more power. So if he can just set that up. But let me point out uh, one fact: Look, even though you have the protector there. Still, when you get hit on top of the protector in the solar plexus area, it still can take the wind out of you. There was a decent body shot that time, which was above it. And, and Zuski really sitting down on his punches now, his right hand especially. Bruce trying to get in position to do something. Zuski pulls out of there, gets set up himself again, just. Pushes him off with the left hand that time and again. But he wants to throw the right hand in the worst way. You can just feel it. There it is. Yeah, all he had to do is wait for Bruce to finally throw a punch. He finally puts a jab out there and then he attacks. It's like he's waiting to counter, but his opponent's not throwing any punches. Zuski around to the right, gets him some position and unleashes the right hand. As the left hooks back to the body, taken on the protective, but in the area of the liver and the rib on the right side. Nice movement by Zuski. You see, he does a lot of nice things in here. And he's winning the rounds. There's the uppercut again, which has been effective. He hasn't at any time snapped the head back, but they're effective punches. And his aggressiveness is effective because he's landing a lot of hard punches and a lot more hard punches than certainly Aie Bruce. He's the only one throwing them right now. Screaming at Bruce, try to get him uh, more aggressive and throwing some more punches. And meanwhile, Nick Gael is just uh, racking up the points here. The speed banging him with his with his left hand, looking to throw the right hand. Lack of punches again. Zuski gets set. Round number three. So we go to round number four. Remember, this is scheduled for ten. He doesn't even seem interested. 
to be honest with you. He's just sitting there, stale faced. I'm like, let's let's fight. Unless unless the uh, you know the only way he figures he can beat this guy is hope that he punches himself out over six rounds. And, but he's so far behind. I mean, he's already he needs to win three in a row just to get back in the fight. No question about it. Zuzki, it's, it's almost like a sparring session for him because uh, the inability for Ayi Bruce to do anything. Again, he's a guy that's got 15 uh, by some uh, by what we're going with tonight. And according to the African boxing, he's got 23 victories. So, I mean, the guy's been around for a while. He's 29 years old. He trains with one of the great fighters of all time, and and, uh, and the professor over there in in Accra, Ghana. We mentioned working with Azuma Nelson and then his guys that have him here in Albany, New York. He moved over here. He's not doing much at all tonight. Zuzuki just teeing off, really sitting down with his right hand. Positions himself now. Again, I mean, the, I mean, just nothing coming from Ai. Waits, waits. He's on the inside where he could have thrown some punches. He said Zuski gets off for us again as he does in minute uh, 17, 16, 15 to go now in the fourth round. And it's been all Ai Bruce due to a lot of inactivity by Bruce. Finally, Bruce lands a left hand, but to no avail because it's partially blocked on the gloves of Zuski. Lucy's so got that left hand down now. He wants the pot shot him with the right. Doubles a jab upstairs, then just pushes out the jab and holds him off. But he wants to set down just like that with the right hand. He wants to blast him with the right hand power shot. Left hook, left hook, tries to catch the body with the left, but that's the looping right hand that does catch Bruce. Again, I can feel the anticipation in the crowd because not a lot of action here, especially with Bruce is just doing everything he can, but it's begun to be like a, a training session for him as he snapped the right hand off there and spun the head of Bruce. And the bell is going to sound to end the fourth round, and that's another Zuski round. All right, and in this one, Mikhail Zuski of uh, Trois Riveras in uh, Canada leading a 40 36 on my score sheet. We're in the fifth round. And uh, inactivity by Bruce has not made it uh, what you would call a, a really exciting fight. This clean right hand, clear shot to the left side of the skull of Bruce. Zuski's getting plenty of nice work in in this fight. Hand speed again shown by Zuski. When is Bruce going to light himself up and get into this fight? And again, the only thing I could think of is that, you know, that he thought that maybe. Take Zuski late into the fight, but I mean, he's just not doing enough to even make the rounds close. And finally, he drops Bruce with a right hand. It was a combination of punches. Counts up to six and seven and eight. Is he going to get up at nine? You're not getting up. It's all over. You know, you made the comment, Christina. I don't know if this guy wants to fight. 
I thought he could have got up there, but it, uh, it doesn't make any difference now because Zuski knocks him out in the fifth round. A fifth round knockout victory for Mikhail Zuski. So Zuski got all the work he needed in this fight. He gets hit hard enough right there, and then a nice uppercut, and another shot there, and then right on the ear. Okay, so the accumulation of punches. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends with an official time of 1 minute 41 seconds of round number five. Your winner, by way of knockout, Mikhail Zoski.